Hi everyone, my name is Warby. I'm a product manager at Palo Alto Networks. And today I want to talk to you about a specific use case in the AWS cloud and how we integrate with what's called the services VPC architecture. So in this case, we have AWS and we have, to start with, two VPCs. And because we have multiple AZs for redundancy, we're going to have a firewall per AZ. So we have a total of four firewalls to secure these two VPCs. And because we want to do hybrid cloud connectivity to our on-prem data center, where we already have security there as well, we're going to connect these with IPsec tunnels. And we'll do it fully redundant. So this works well for a very small deployment. I can secure traffic within a VPC, between VPCs, or back out to the data center. One of the challenges with this is this VPC might be owned by a department other than the department that is responsible for security. For example, this could be a development project. Now we have to have some kind of coordination for the security team to secure a VPC that's owned by another department or maybe even a partner. The other challenge here is that for these servers to go out and get things like software updates or new installs, all that traffic has to come back to the data center or I have to write policy in multiple locations to secure it out to the internet. So I want to optimize the traffic and I also want to segregate the, uh, where the responsibility lies for securing that traffic. So what I want to show next now is a, an architecture that's called the services VPC architecture for AWS, where I can leverage that to centralize the security and also create optimal paths for different types of traffic. So in this topology, I still have the VPCs that I had before, and I have my application servers running there. But rather than run firewalls at each VPC, which can increase the requirement to hundreds, even thousands of firewalls, I'm going to have a central location called the Firewall Services VPC where I can deploy a much smaller quantity of virtual firewalls, maybe as few as two. And I'm going to connect these to each VPC using the AWS service called the Virtual Private Gateway, or VGW. The VGW gives us the redundancy as well as dynamic routing for failover to connect these without having to have so many firewalls. And so this is what it looks like. So these are IPsec tunnels, which is the overlay network that allows AWS routing to work through a VPC. It could be going out to the internet, it could be going to another VPC, and we still have redundant connectivity coming back to the on-prem data center. In this way, I can have multiple VPCs leveraging this initial footprint of just two firewalls. There is a point at which the scale gets a little bit challenging where the VGWs start to run out of IP addressing for the subnets between these different locations. So what we can do at that point is we can actually repeat this topology with another pair of firewalls for the next set of VPCs, somewhere around every 10 to 12 VPCs, which probably is about the point where you're going to need more scale for a performance reason anyway. So this whole topology scales quite well for on the order of dozens of VPCs. But if we want to get to a point of hundreds or even over 1,000 VPCs, we need to take a different approach. So in this example, I've replaced the services VPC with a pair of physical firewalls running in a direct connect location, such as an Equinox data center adjacent to the AWS VPCs. Traditionally, these would be customer-owned and managed routers, terminating wide area connectivity over direct connect back to a physical data center, but we can leverage these to achieve very high VPC scale. So we still have some kind of connectivity via Direct Connect and maybe even IPsec on top of that for extra security, but because these are our firewalls and we support routing protocols like BGP, we can connect to all of these VPCs using that technology, and in addition, we don't need to do the overlay network with IPsec tunnels because this is not a VPC. I don't have a routing limitation of connecting two different VPCs through the firewalls. So we end up with a very highly redundant, highly scaled solution 
using both firewalls to all of these locations and using BGP to quickly converge in case there's a failure. This topology will scale to well over 1,000 VPCs in a region and can be replicated in multiple regions. So the nice thing about this solution, whether you use the services VPC with virtual firewalls or the direct connect location version with physical firewalls, is you can layer on top of that other solutions, such as virtual firewalls in some VPCs for intra VPC security. You can also do our auto scaling solution for some of the VPCs that have an internet facing application. You don't have to do all or one, you can pick and choose based on the application deployment for each location. We have a customer today that uses a blend of our solutions. Today they have well over 100 VPCs and based on the utilization of our, their physical firewalls using the Direct Connect location version, they anticipate to be able to do well over 1,000. So hopefully this was helpful and you can see how we can secure AWS VPCs at a very large scale using a centralized management approach and optimizing things like bandwidth and who controls the policy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.